Hello friends, this is Durga from IT University, a one-stop shop to, to learn all the technologies. Uh, typically, I upload videos uh, uh, for a given topic, um, uh, all the related videos for a given topic as part of playlist in my channel. And uh, you can go to the library and click on this and you can see several playlists already existing here. So in, uh, in the similar lines, uh, today I am going to kick start a new playlist uh, dedicated for Apache Pig which is one of the Hadoop ecosystem tools. Uh, so you will be yeah, seeing that playlist here and this is just to kick start uh, it. So Pig is um, a wrapper on top of MapReduce. So instead of writing a complex Java based MapReduce code, you can write a, uh, SQL type of scripts using Pig. Uh, you will see the differences uh, about pig and hive and all those things as part of the uh, other videos. But in this uh, 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 video, I will just cover what all the topics that will be uh, uh, emphasized uh, in the near term future and what will be what you can expect in the longer term future, uh, uh, long term future. So uh, there are uh, several things which you need to understand when it comes to pig. First you need to understand the architecture. You have to understand the basics of the pig, the syntax and semantics of the pig uh, commands. Uh, you need to understand how to uh, troubleshoot the issues. Uh, you need to uh, understand how to deal with uh, data that have structure and uh, how to deal with data that do not have structure. And there are several transformations which you can uh, develop using pig. All those things will be covered as part of this. So, so in the shorter term, you can expect all these things uh, like writing and executing a simple pig scripts after covering the pig architecture and loading data into pig relation and se uh, several of these things will be covered. But in the longer run, you can expect the performance tuning and other advanced features of the pig uh, uh, as part of this playlist. So stay tuned and enjoy the content. If you have any questions, uh, please uh, uh, feel free to ask the questions uh, uh, in comment section. Uh, and uh, if you like the idea, please click on the like button of this video. Uh, if you want to provide feedback, again use the comment section. If you have any technical questions, go to Stack Overflow, overflow.com and ask the questions um, with appropriate tags. Uh, there are many people who can support you. Uh, on that and uh, uh, if you are not subscribed yet please do so you will get to see a lot more content like this for time and pig is very very important tool to learn um, um, because if you have to deal with uh, data that don't have any structure uh, you have to use pig and uh, uh, also from certification perspective which is highly re recognized in the, in the industry if you take a Hadoop certified developer HDCP, HDPCD, uh, HDP certified developer HDPCD exam uh, without Java, then the PIG is uh, uh, the major component of the certification. So make sure you learn, especially if you want to uh, go for the certification. And uh, I will try to cover all these topics uh, close to the uh, uh, real world experience, the way we typically use the PIG. Uh, in the projects. That being said, um, I'll be using uh, Hortonworks uh, data platform uh, virtual machine uh, to showcase uh, most of the big features. But it doesn't matter what VM you are using, as long as you have Hadoop uh, running uh, with pig on it, you will be able to execute all the exercises which I am going to show you. To get the code snippets, you can go to my GitHub account, uh, dgadiraju. And then under code repository, uh, there is a directory called Hadoop, which have a, a subdirectory EW, under which we have HDP pig and pig underscore demo dot txt is the uh, file which you need to uh, focus on um, all the uh, uh, code snippets which I will execute as part of the uh, demonstrations uh, will be available here. That being said, I hope you are in, uh, you will enjoy the content. Thank you. Bye.